like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars how do i build a system that maintains my spiritual growth and maintains my spiritual fire most of us rise up today and go down tomorrow we are not able to sustain that spiritual momentum do you know why because everything that has to do with our spiritual life is based on emotion please look at me how many of you know that if you depend on your emotion to read your bible if you depend on your emotion to pray if you depend on your emotion to go to church you will not do any of that is that true What is the system you have put in place for your Bible study? What is the system you have put in place for consistent prayer? Anybody who tells you prayer is comfortable and convenient lie to you. Prayer has nothing to do with emotions. You have to create a system that not even your emotions can easily tamper with. Hallelujah. Imagine with me that I come up here on Sunday and I say, ladies and gentlemen, um... I know you love me and I love you too but I want to be very honest with you today we're just going to pray in tongues and sing because um, I needed to sleep I've, I've, I've been traveling around and I'm so tired and I don't have anything to tell you I thank you for coming here since 10 o'clock in the morning and since 8 30 struggling for space and sitting down and uh, come again may the Lord bless you I'm sure that after two or three weeks I'll be prepared how how irresponsible will that sound now don't you know that i live a busy schedule and yet not even you will excuse me for that carelessness why because preparing my sermon to make sure god's people are built has been systematized are we together now i don't allow my emotions to prepare sermons i will fail miserably there are many meetings that line up before me and so there are systems there are time periods where i'm about studying and preparing whether there is rain whether i am tired i can pamper myself afterwards but as far as that is concerned i must be instant in season and out of season someone shout amen, amen. please look up our parents many of us here our parents and our elderly ones here used to practice a system called morning devotion is that true now that didn't seem to be a system that um some of them would not pray in tongues for one hour nor finish their bibles cover to cover but notice that every time they woke up the first thing they did their bibles will usually be at the side of the bed is that true and because of that they were in contact with scripture every day for 50 years 41 years now some of us have come as zealous people who love the lord you can pray for eight hours one day and not pray again till after three weeks you can study the bible emotionally trying to finish 15 chapters in one day and then leave your bible alone then repent after two months when you hear a message like this and go back again everybody says systems please look at me you can never become spiritually alive and robust allowing your emotions to define the level of your spiritual commitment do you know why many many people who work in corporations and in the civil service no matter how res respectfully speaking how um, um how draggy they are they are still able to maintain that because there is a register that you sign in when you come in is that true and they will query you there is a supervisor waiting for you so you can return home by 12 even attend a vigil sometimes end by four or five and as tired as you are you know your salary is at stake your job is at stake there are bills to pay it will fuel the energy you will stand up and bath and be on your way systems are supervisors they supervise compliance you must create a system around your spiritual life what is the system you are built to make sure you study the bible every day and for some of us when it has to do with bible study that is even a discussion for another day because you get up and there is no definition as to what you are becoming 
today you just feel like um let me read proverbs i'm not in the mood for any history you just open proverbs chapter one and with sleep in your eyes you'll be reading the same verse for 20 minutes you think you have finished it you will come back read it again because there is no system and then the next day you read john chapter 2 and then when you wake up and stumble across a message online and it fires your spirit you quickly go back to revelation read something small on rapture you don't grow that way your growth is not methodical this is the reason why respectfully speaking we have many people who go to church but there is no growth because people do not grow methodically some of our parents who would read five chapters according to that devotional gradually gradually they may finish their bible in five years six years it may not be so much relative to your passion and your press but it was systematized can i tell you this if you have not outgrown um if you have not outgrown being guided to read a scripture by designing your own structure go back to it in fact i don't have a problem with devotionals they are a healthy start and they can help you of course in truth you will need more than that if you really want to press to certain dimensions but it is it is fair enough for you to start someone met me and said apostle i need to grow spiritually and i confess that my study of the word and my prayer is not i'm not really benefiting i'm not really growing how can you help me this is what i told the person as a recommendation i said every message that is preached here in koinonia let that be your study for that week at least start from there so you listen to the message and you use it for bible study you use it to build now you settle down and look at the scriptures if you even just focus on what is being taught per week many of us have almost everybody's message in the world you have everybody's devotional but you have not listened to any of them when we go to your library there are books from even generals that are long gone and you will impress us by what is in your library but you've not even read up to one percent of it you will not grow that way say in the name of jesus i obtain grace to maintain my spiritual life by systematizing my approach please look up there are some of you here you cannot pray for one hour every day now the the value of prayer is not in the timing the value of prayer is in the efficiency and the fellowship but then timing is a discipline that can help you believe me when i tell you this some of you don't have the discipline to wake up in the night use an alarm clock an alarm clock is a system Oh, apostle, it's an embarrassment to my discernment. Please use it. Save yourself all this pride for nothing and get a good alarm clock. If you plan to wake up by 2 o'clock, let it start by 1.30. So you can struggle for 30 minutes. Whatever it is, you can be sure that by 2 you are awake. It's a strategy. Can I tell you this? The days that are coming will depend on your spiritual health. Man of God the ministry that you run cannot rise beyond your spiritual health that is the truth koinonia if my prayer life is just one hour you will not grow i assure you at this level of my life it's not pride if i pray for only one hour praying for you what god has done will i finish saying thank you in one hour There are many homes here that don't, that don't have a system for their spiritual upkeep. Respectfully speaking, don't feel bad. We're dealing with systems and structures. Anybody who feels like praying in the house just calls for prayer. And then everybody just respects it. You can't grow that way. The home needs to have a system. Whether it's in the morning or night or both. So that any visitor who comes to stay with you meets an existing system. So people don't ship in Babylon to your house and come and destroy your home. When they come and meet a system, they will respect it. In this house, by 6 o'clock we wake up. Well, in my father's house, I wake up by 9. I respect you, but you may have to comply with what is available now. 6 o'clock, let's begin to pray. Father, we thank you. And everybody is praying in the house. How about Bible studies? 
I'm sorry to say it, but did you know that many children do not learn about God from home? They don't build character from home because there is no system for that. Our society continues to be destroyed today because we are hoping that religious, educational and governmental institutions will do the work that family should start. No systems. The reason why you are well nourished is because there is a system. Subconsciously, you know that there will be breakfast, lunch and dinner. For some of us who fast, you look at your loved ones those days when when we really started learning the things about fasting in the seminary we would they would combine the breakfast and lunch nobody eats it just because you are fasted length period will come and go but by night that revenge mission the breakfast in the morning and the lunch and dinner if anybody touches your breakfast or your lunch because you are spending time with god when you are back from that mountain you will now flog it out with them some of you are like that they go to the kitchen whose food is this is my own leave it there i'm fasting <laughs> even the gifts that visitors bring the yam the fruits leave it there once it's 5 30 as you are praying in tongues you are strolling around the kitchen six on the dot <laughs> hallelujah now look at me please look at me how many of you here have a system for your renewal with god most of you do not have a system for retreats you don't even know what retreats are respectfully speaking some of you how can you as a leader even a spiritual leader not have a system of retreat it's not only when you have an attack that you need a retreat out of the seven days in a week what is the strategy you have put in place to make sure your fire is not lost monthly do you have a strategy quarterly do you have a strategy during your birthday what happens i just know that people celebrate me uh-huh spiritually don't you know that that is a defining moment in your life those days in zaria we used to practice it and even train people that your birthdays were very prophetic seasons in your life you will see people go on fasting three days four days to their birthdays they can celebrate only when they've sorted destiny with god but today as simple as that was many people encountered god and found purpose please return return in the name of jesus christ this is not just entertainment many of you this is what started depleting your spiritual life you are a man of god the fire you used to command before was because maybe you were on campus or where you were you were around fellow believers so there was a system of check and balance now that you are alone your prayer life gone down everything gone down is why when most people finish from campuses they become a shadow of themselves you know why because respectfully speaking in campus there are fellowships there is always something to do and there is someone to watch around your life but now you are an administrator now you are doing some other things everybody says systems you must create a system for bible study this night whether it's a topical study whether it's study book by book whether it's through the use of devotional make up your mind don't wait and say apostle why don't you do it and be giving us every day go i'm, I'm teaching you here so that you will go and find it and study don't stay on to be over pampered like that you have to take responsibility spiritually number two what is the system you have put in place for your mental development what is mental development correcting and building superior beliefs what is the system you are put in place to give you a superior philosophy about life i've told you every day without fail and i stand before god and before his people there are teachings i listen to there are people whose thoughts shape my understanding and it is a non-negotiable sacrifice i must listen every day How are you going to rise and become a marvelous tool that God will use when you are not agreeing with him mentally? There is Bible on tape. There is Bible on MP3. Is that true? 
there are many ways you can manage i have i have this this the words of jesus only i have it on mp3 on almost all my flash drives my phone laptop everything i have it there so sometimes i can just be playing it the words of jesus only because these are the words that shape my mind and my understanding the destiny of millions depend on my efficiency i cannot afford to be careless those days we used to sleep with worship songs to confess to you now we don't do so much of that but those days it used to be worship songs from night till morning worship songs playing so it was a system to maintain your spiritual life you wake up in the middle of the night with such intense presence this is how god built us oh please return to it please return to it in the name of jesus christ submit to mental development get up and look for people whose philosophies are word compliant there are people even in the personal development industry whose whose thoughts are word compliant listen to it to adjust your philosophy about life don't depend on the low level thinking you can't be global that way number three you must build a system to manage your health and your wellness this is a very powerful one there are homes today respectfully speaking who who do not have any kind of first aid structure god forbid should anything happen to someone in that house even if it is panadol that is needed someone will have to book an uber it is carelessness i am sorry but just just receive it from me this night it's carelessness there must be a provision in place do you know you are given only one body per lifetime i have taught you maintaining it is your responsibility and you must create a system around it you must create a system on how to access rich food vitamins and supplements if you want to and then scriptures for your health i have scriptures you know several men of god across the body have done several beautiful scriptures that speak about your health and your wellness I listen to it every time because I intend to live long and Jesus said we live by bread and by words hallelujah I made up my mind one time that I was going to you know I was going to build a, a gym just for fitness and um, <laughs> don't laugh you've not even heard the story it will make me always look like a, I'm a comedian. Listen. Do you know that I now said they should look for a gym instructor, a coach for me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they went and brought one fine young man who really respects and honors me. I was inside when they said he had arrived. I said, okay, let him just go to the gym and wait for me there. When he went there and I saw the guy, I said, did I tell you people I want to box and learn? This guy was built and looking like he could pick me. I said, what is he here for? <laughs> to build me? No. It is such as you have that you give. I'm not interested. No, no way. That's not my assignment. It's not in the blueprint of my destiny. My assignment is just to be healthy any other thing greater than my strength i depend on the holy spirit and military people thank god he has surrounded me with so many generals they can help me ah that gentleman was built he now showed me videos of him doing exercises he was using chains chains hallelujah but the point is this look at me if you don't take care of your health you will die i'm not confessing negatively believe me when i tell you if you don't take care of your health is there a system in place apostle i collect two hundred thousand naira per month you can discuss and allocate something for healthy living it is true it's a discipline we must learn in the body of christ don't allow taking care of your health be an emotional thing the day the pain becomes overbearing some of you you live in pain every day you are used to it and these are signs that continue in your body for 10 years 
medical science will tell us that most conditions that destroy people can be managed if you were dealt with in its infancy do you agree with me on that hallelujah i'm a man of faith or i'm a man of the spirit but the bible says wisdom is profitable to direct i need to live long for the sake of the assignment we're not afraid of death but we know that we need to live long to finish that which god has given to us are we together i'm saying this thing so that you will go back home don't just say i attended koinonia and i laughed no go back and sit down for some of you you may start this you need to start putting a good system to have clean drinking water in your house you are too blessed to be taking the kind of water you are taking it's pure carelessness it's just that you've not paid attention to it 